Corey's checking out uh, this pretty cool lab that the city of Phoenix runs. They test, um, do tests that they run on the pavement, make sure they're safe. Yeah, like the roads are safe. Right, the kitty can, it can withstand yeah, exactly. the heat. Yeah, this is the city of Phoenix materials lab. I mean, and it's real. We get beakers and thermometers and uh, all that. Oh, look here, Monica's really rocking it over there. Um, this looks like the worst cookie batter ever. Uh, what are we looking at? Oh, by the way, this is Rob Duvall, and uh, he's got an awful lot to show us this morning. What are we looking at What here? we got here is after asphalt has been brought to the lab and we take it and we're, we're doing, running some various tests on it, one of the tests is oil content. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we put it in an oven that's set at 1,000 degrees. Okay. That oven burns off all the oil that's in, in the asphalt, and what's left is the aggregate and sand. That's the three main components of asphalt. Mm -hmm. We've got sand, aggregate and oil and your job is to uh, you know if you hire you get a bid from a contractor he says I can build this road for you at this price your job is to make sure that he's gonna do it at a you know in a high quality we right? want to make sure that the materials that are going down in the city of Phoenix are the correct materials yeah. and they meet the specifications that gotcha. we have outlined. Well, what are we showing off here is this a progression of some kind we start here what we've got this is an asphalt core it's a rubberized asphalt we used to use a lot of rubberized asphalt it's in our like road pimento way. loaf it does it does and uh, mm -hmm. what, what you can get here. this is a, a core of asphalt that we've taken from a roadway this is a new type of asphalt we're using it's a polymer modified rubberized asphalt uh -huh. here's another this is a core of rubberized asphalt, and this is our conventional asphalt that we okay. use on roadways. Gotcha. Uh, I wish Ron Hoon were here. Gosh, does he love rubberized asphalt. I bet. I bet. It's He's quieter. like a poster child it's for nice. it. Well, let's head over to the oven. I know we have so much to see. We'll never get to see it all this morning, but oh, look at him scatter. Got to all your colleagues here uh, with us this morning. Uh, this is really almost like a kitchen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we do a lot of a lot of baking in here. Yeah. yeah. And we oh, use these good. ovens. Who's this fellow? This is Chris. This is our, our asphalt technician. Chris, get to your work over there. We want to watch so uh, what's right going on. Right now, he's going to put a sample into this oven. This is called an ignition oven. Uh, the ignition oven burns at 1,000 degrees. And like okay. I said before, it, it burns off all the asphalt and gives us a percentage of what, how much asphalt was in the oil, in the, in how much oil was in the asphalt. Now, now do you ever come, ever come up with uh, like a bummer load of asphalt? You say, well, this won't do. We do. You, you got to do better than this, Mr. What we do is we get those cores that mm -hmm. you, we saw earlier. We, they go out and they recore and we retest to make sure that maybe there was an error. If there was an error, then we mm -hmm. can double check. Gotcha. So and uh, like a cookie. Show, show when us it's the results. Done, we, we take the sample out, we allow it to cool, and what's left over, like I said, is just the aggregate and the sand. Mm -hmm. And we do calculations on it. We take this and it runs through a nest of sieves and we separate the aggregate by sizes. So then we can do uh, calculations on it to make sure the properties are exactly how they should be. Andrea, Celeste, mm -hmm. we're just down the street. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You want to get your ladies group down here for a tour? Let's do it. I'm sure they can accomplish it. Yeah. Right. Well, watch out there, Tom. I'm going to bust into something. Yeah. Uh, we'll see you guys. Next time we get together, uh, we're going to try to bake some cookies. Okay. we got all these ovens here. Sure. Why not? Thanks, for. Plus this great looking mixer. Take our aprons down there. Yeah. Little uh, whisk. I'll take a double chocolate chip cookie. You're asking. Hold the asphalt, please. Yes, please. <laughs> yeah. AZAM is back. Well, from chasing pavements to baking it, <laughs> Corey's checking out a cool new lab in the city of Phoenix. Yeah, I had no idea they did this, but it makes sense. No, we didn't either. We've had, we've had a blast here this morning, and these are the people who make it happen. Yeah, there's your crew. That's right. Uh, this is why these faces here are why the roads in Phoenix are so darn good. If you grew up uh, anywhere else, uh, back east or in the Midwest, uh, you know what springtime can be like. Now, Rob, you were telling me, admittedly, we don't have a lot of the freezing and thawing problems uh, that they have in other cities, but you guys are really on top of, uh, of what your roads are made of, and these are some of these uh, core samples, as you say, you, you get a manufacturer of concrete. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They have to provide you with their products. So you can test it first. Right? Yes, that is correct. So out in the field, let's take this project, for example. This is Chandler Boulevard. This is one of our no newest roads that are okay. being built. Uh, out in the field, they'll get the, the cement truck will arrive mm -hmm. on, on site and see we will, uh, they'll make these cylinders out in the oh, field. Oh, well, we've got one open concrete. already. Gotcha. So they'll take a cylinder and they'll fill that with 
freshly mixed concrete. Gotcha. And then it'll sit out in the job site for 24 hours, and then they'll Look bring it that. into our lab, and it we'll. Looks like granite or marble. It's yeah, so pretty. It's nice and nice and uh, nice and smooth. Very good. So the we'll strip the cylinders, the mold away from it, and from there we'll have this cylinder that we'll be able to test. And we now, tested at different intervals. So. Now what do we have here? This has got a bit of a crack in it. This is a, a concrete core that we t we took from a location. I'm not sure exactly mm -hmm. where, but there was some cracking that was developing, and we we're doing you an investigation to see, to see why. Gotcha. Now this is fascinating to me. This looks like the worst Rice Krispies treat ever. But it's a porous concrete, you Pervious said? concrete. Pervious. So it allows water to drain through. They'll put it on a parking lot or, or uh, uh, a drainage area, and it'll allow moisture to just seep through. And then that moisture can then be diverted into irrigation or, or um, landscaping. So it's can, amazing. Yeah, it's an interesting technology. Really clever. Well, uh, let's get over here to where we can smash some stuff, because boys love to do that. Right. So this is one of the concrete cores you were talking about earlier, So this right? is a cylinder. Uh, we, this is a 28-day oh, cylinder, right? 28-day break. Uh, usually, that's what we wait until the concrete is 28 days strong, and then that way we can test it. That's where the acceptance comes in. So okay. you got to let the concrete age because as it ages, it it starts to age very quickly and then levels out. Gotcha. Well. You know, I see you're using the Forney press. I mean, you talk about a press that's known the world over. The Forney's one of the best. Forney, uh, yes. How much pressure are we going to put on this guy? Uh, we're going to we're going to start off uh, going by 35 pounds on here, and then we're just hopefully that there. hopefully it can hold that. Uh, let's really put it. Uh, let's give it the business now. How is this going to explode? Holy cannoli! <laughs> Wow. That was good. That was planned, right? <laughs> yes, that was planned. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was about 100,000 pounds of pressure. That was about 100,000. Okay, well, hopefully uh, your Prius doesn't weigh as much as 100,000 pounds. Uh, boy, the roads in Phoenix. Yeah, let's get to that there. All right. Uh, <laughs> your Phoenix roads are always going to be uh, reliable. Rob, thanks so much for sharing your crew uh, with us. Thanks, everybody. Uh, <laughs> holy cow. I'm glad the camera wasn't on me. Uh, boy, that really tested tested the limits of my depends. I will say that. I, I should be doing some testing on those undergarments. Yeah, no kidding. Wow, nice work back there.